Hello everyone, what's up? This is Rich. This is part three of the Windows Live Mail instructional series. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up IMAP, in particular with Gmail. First thing we need to do is go to Gmail first and log in. So I will go ahead and do that. After that, I will click on the settings at the top right and then click on the forwarding and pop slash IMAP tab. At the bottom here, we have IMAP. IMAP access is very simple. Enable or disable. We want to enable it. So we do so and we save the changes and that's basically it. Now after this we set up uh, the IMAP mail in the client. Now this is a little tricky because there are several ways you can go about it and you'll see what I mean in a moment. For now we'll just click add an email account, put in our email address which is our full Gmail address, put in our Gmail password put in our display name, check the box for manually configure server settings for email account. Next, the incoming mail server is IMAP. The incoming server is IMAP, imap.gmail.com. Underneath is the server requires a secure connection. You check that. Port changes to 993. This is correct. Log on using clear text authentication. This is correct. The login ID is your full Gmail address. Your outgoing server is SMTP, Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. Gmail.com. Check, check. Underneath, check both these boxes. Change the port to 465 and hit next. Now, before we hit finish, I'm going to tell you what's going to occur. The way IMAP works is that this client is going to log into Gmail's servers via IMAP and it's going to show us folders. It's going to download all the folders. You do this so that uh, it, you think of it as a subscribing to folders. Same deal, basically, and we hit OK. Now, what you're first going to notice is that it looks a little odd because you have this Gmail, and if you click it, it will give you an error. That's actually normal because you, the Gmail folder itself doesn't have any mail in it, but if we expand it, that's where your stuff is. So we have our all mail, we have our drafts, we have our sent mail, we have our spam. You know, of course, because Gmail's got lots of spam and so on, and so on and so forth. Now, the first thing I would recommend that you do here is to right-click each one of these, go to Synchronization Settings, and change them all to Headers Only. When you're doing this over IMAP, it will speed up your IMAP significantly when you do this, because instead of down, especially for things like spam, because you don't need to download the spam obviously nor do you need to really download the trash now the folder underneath gmail this is actually a label i made a label called testing and that's uh, whenever you have a label in gmail it will create it down here now what i will do is i'll go back to gmail over here i will go over to labels and hit edit and make one i'll call it testing 2 and i'll say create now I have a label called testing too. I'll minimize this and then what I will do is I will right click the Gmail thing just a second and do IMAP folders and then reset list. Now I have testing two. Hit OK. We have testing two. Synchronizes. So when you create a, an, a label in Gmail it appears to be a folder in an IMAP client. Now whether you're using Thunderbird or whether you're using Windows Live Mail, it's the same way. That's the way that it works. You cannot create folders by using the client. You have to make a label on the Gmail side, then it will appear here. That's the way it works. Now here's something which is a little different, but it may be preferential to some people. If you don't want this Gmail folder, but you want it to say, okay, I want the inbox to be the real inbox, the sent items to be the real sent items, so on and so forth. How do I do this? This is how we do it. We right click, one second, I gotta highlight it, right click, and then go to properties. From here, we click on the IMAP tab. We set the root folder path to bracket, as in left bracket, capital G, lowercase m a i l, right bracket. For the sent items path, we change this to sent mail uh, both with capital letters in the beginning drafts remains the same deleted items path we change this to trash with a capital T junk path we change this to spam with a capital S 
we hit OK. It will give me a little notice, would you like to refresh your list? Yes, I would. Now you'll notice that instead of having that Gmail folder now, since it's now set as the root, the inbox is the real inbox. The sent mail is the real sent mail. Spam is the real spam folder. Trash, same deal. All mail, same deal. And the starred folder. If you do not do not want that starred folder there, what you can do is right click this again, left click IMAP folders, and then just double click starred so you unsubscribe from that folder. Hit OK and then it's not there anymore. It doesn't mean it deleted it. It just means that it's not subscribed to, and that's okay. What we need to do after this is just to clean things up. So we go back into Gmail here, and we go to our labels once again. So I'm just going to refresh this. Now what happened is that it made uh, a few folders when it initially subscribed. So what I'm going to do is I don't need these labels anymore. So I'm going to remove my two labels sent items don't need it it's a label it's sent mail junk mail again I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this I will remove all these and remove it now I don't have any more and that's okay no mail was deleted by doing this they're just removal of labels now whenever I do a send receive here I will be able to uh, synchronize properly when you're doing it this way your labels are essentially worthless because you won't be able to subscribe to them. I prefer having Gmail IMAP this way because I don't like that expansive Gmail folder there. It just to me it's just confusing. So I have my mail set up this way. You can do it either or whatever you want to do. Now even with IMAP there's a couple things to note. If you have your mail set up like I have it at the moment, your labels will not synchronize. If you have it the other way, your labels will synchronize and they will appear as folders. If you have any colored emails, I don't believe they will work. Uh, if you set colors on labels, especially since they're considered to be folders on IMAP subscriptions anyway, your contact list will not synchronize. Whereas it will if you have a Hotmail account set up instead of a Gmail account. And essentially, that is the way that it works. Um, in the next video, I'll show you how to do a couple of tips and tricks as far as composition of emails, signatures, and things of that sort. So stay tuned.